Good afternoon, esteemed ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to welcome you at the Moscow International Forum Open uh, Investments. And this is a new uh, platform to discuss the advanced technology and strategies of the future growth. And we are thankful to those who responded to our invitations and arrived here in Moscow. And uh, you will be the first to know about the strategy of innovative development of uh, Russia and Moscow. You will also learn about the plans of the innovation business and the results of this work. And today, nobody doubts about the necessity of innovative development for successful development of the state and improvement of the quality of the lifestyle of the people. And of course, very few cities and countries really become the centers of innovations. And uh, as a mass uh, character, they generate ideas, they form and shape the standards. Moscow assigns a very ambitious uh, goal to be part of that community of innovative cities of the world. And I'm sure that Moscow has all the necessary prerequisites. We produce the innovative products for approximately $5 billion uh, per year. And our city is the concentration of active, clever, smart, and very well-educated people of all ages and very active youth of our country. And today many young people, schoolboys and students of uh, Moscow universities are planning to devote their life to innovation, science and entrepreneurship. And the demand for quality engineering education is growing and good universities with strong tuition staff uh, can afford to choose the the best uh, graduates of schools and the task of the government of Moscow to create uh, favorable conditions for talented people so that they have all the necessary possibilities for their uh, self-improvement uh, and we would like to make Moscow a very comfortable place for living and this is our future this is the greatest value and yesterday we opened a new office of the uh, city agency, the Center of Innovative Development. And the major task is to offer to all those who volunteer the ability to develop themselves in the innovative uh, industries. And we've seen lots of people in the line to that center. And the task is to support the specific innovative uh, projects and to administer the budget funds uh, to support innovative trends. And uh, uh, in other countries, we believe, and the Moscow uh, Center of Innovative Development will become a very reliable partner for business. And the government of Moscow will continue to develop the infrastructure for innovative development. And the major problems, as they say, with the development of innovative trends is the expensive real estate and problems uh, with the customs. And uh, recently, Recently, we have created a special customs uh, outlet uh, for uh, receiving of innovative products, and uh, they could uh, process cargo and products in 30 minutes. Uh, recently, it demanded weeks to do the same. Of course, uh, real estate is expensive, not only in Moscow, but in all large cities of the world. But uh, Moscow has some competitive advantage. It's a technopolis. Moscow, which is a system of industrial uh, premises ready for industrial production. And these are the satellite cities of Zelenograd. And of course, uh, they are waiting for large scale uh, investors ready to invest into the construction and other uh, technical parks for development of small and medium business. And we are prepared to house uh, several dozens of uh, research uh, institutions and uh, uh, production lines. And we are also going to create the industrial zones. And the ideology is just to replace the obsolete uh, industry for a state-of-the-art 
uh, industry of today. We also know the uh, mechanism like the state and government order, and this uh, order values for $20 billion annually. And we put our stakes at uh, procurement of innovative uh, products, and up to 5%, the customers are allowed uh, to place their innovative uh, products, even uh, if uh, these orders will be uh, uh, more expensive than conventional technologies. And of course, we would like to mention Skolkovar, which is also part of the Moscow territory. And together with the federal government, we developed the infrastructure of the center. And we believe in 2014, 2015, it will launch its operation in full swing. And the next component is the convenience for life of the people. And we have very uh, proper um, primary education, uh, very well developed uh, healthcare facilities, and also premises for rest and leisure time spending, and lots of uh, services. Of course, there are certain drawbacks. This is the transportation and traffic jams, which you felt for yourselves. But in different uh, periods uh, of its development, with metro full of people, and actually, this is the picture true for any uh, megapolis of the world. This is the price we pay for the development, uh, and Moscow is paying this price. Uh, and the uh, solution of the transportation problem, we are using uh, construction of metro, uh, the public transport, and uh, we use new approaches to organize uh, traffic uh, control and movement and create intellectual transportation system, which is based on the most advanced and innovative developments in the world. And there are not uh, so many uh, cities which could become centers of innovations, and each of them had a history of success. And I'm sure the same history is awaiting Moscow. And we are absolutely open for the discussion of innovative uh, problems development, open to your ideas and uh, proposals, and uh, would like to welcome you once again in Moscow and help you a very fruitful work in this forum. Thank you for your attention.